This is an optional segment to show you how to create your own MLA template so that you can make a new document that's already MLA formatted or just start Word and have the document already be MLA formatted. Now I did this in my previous video for Word 2007. I'm using Word 2010 right now. Um, if you're using 2007 it might be advisable to go back to that video and watch that tutorial for doing this instead of this. And that link is right here. But if you are using 2010, then keep watching. So let's start. First, we're going to make a new template. So to do that, we're going to go to File here, New. We're going to double click on My Templates here, and Blank Document, and you're going to create a new template right here, and hit OK. Uh, now you'll come up with a new document called Template 1. You'll want to format this in MLA, so you're going to want to press Control A to select it hit no spacing, set the line spacing to 2.0, change it to Times New Roman, size 12, then you're going to want to go to page layout, uh, margins, and make sure that it's one. I'll go back to home. Um, now what I like to do in my templates is already add some data here because I'm the only one that uses my computer, so I typically add in my name, and I'll also add in a header. So you'll go to home, uh, set it to Times New Roman size 12 and right justify that and last name um, and then go to design tool right here page number current position 1 and then hit close header um, now what you can also do is if you have only one class you can add a teacher in here uh, probably leave a line blank for the assignment name and then if you want you can even insert a dynamic date. I'll show you how to do this. Um, you hit insert, quick parts, field, and you're going to select date from this right here and select this format which is MLA format to have the day of month, month name, and then year. Now hit OK and you'll see the date pops in there. Uh, now the benefit of this is that whenever you make a new document that date will automatically be changed to the current day. Um, you may or may not want this, it depends. If you don't, you can just delete this and save your template you know, as this, for example. Okay, so now let's make this the... let's save this as a template. So we're going to go to File, Save As, and you'll see we're already in the Templates folder because we made this document as a template, so we're going to um, change the save as type to a template which is the .m format right here and we're gonna call this MLA and hit save uh, now before I save I'm gonna copy this address because I'll need it later so copy that now hit save um, now when you make a new word document so I'm gonna open up word again um, you can go to File, New, My Templates, and select MLA, and you'll have your new MLA formatted document, Document 3, you see. Um, now, another option you can do is make this the default template. So to do that, um, we're going to go into My Computer. We're going to paste in that address to the Templates folder, which I copied earlier. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, first close all my word instances here because that will interfere with this um, don't save that okay uh, now what we're gonna do is rename this to you know an old file you know, just get rid of it and then we're gonna rename this to normal uh, now when word starts it'll see this file and load this template as the default instead so let's test it out close this start up word and as you can see, uh, we start off MLA formatted, times zero and size 12. And that's all there is. Thank you for watching my tutorial.